this video, we'll take one numerical to realize direct form 1 and direct form 2 structure for the given transfer function. A linear time invariant digital IR filter is specified by the following transfer function. Here transfer function h of z is given. Obtain direct form 1 and direct form 2 realization of the system. So first let So first I will simplify h of z by opening these two brackets so that I can write h of z is equal to on numerator multiply z square with these two terms I will get z power 4 minus 2z cube minus z square plus 2z similarly on denominator multiply z square with all these terms then 1 by 16 with all these terms I will get z power 4 minus z cube plus 1 by 2 z square plus 1 by 16 z square minus 1 by 16 z plus 1 by 32. Simplifying this further I can write z power 4 minus 2 z cube minus z square plus 2 z divided by we have z power 4 minus z cube here we can see that 1 by 2 z square plus 1 by 16 z square it gives 9 by 16 z square then we have minus 1 by 16 z plus 1 by 32 now we will try to bring this z of h of z in standard form that therefore divide numerator and denominator of h of z by z power 4 now we supposed to divide each term in the numerator by z power 4 similarly each term in the denominator by z power 4 therefore i can write h of z is equal to z power 4 divided by z power 4 it gives 1 minus 2z cube divided by z power 4 it gives 2z power minus 1 because 1 upon z is nothing but z power minus 1 minus z power 2 divided by z power 4 that is 1 upon z power 2 which is nothing but z power minus 2 plus we have 2z divided by z power 4 it gives 2z power minus 3 similarly on denominator will get this is 1 minus z cube by z4 is z power minus 1 plus 9 by 16 z power minus 2 minus 1 over 16 z power minus 3 plus 1 over 32 divided by z power z power 4 it gives z power minus 4 so now we know that in h of z or in ir filter the numerator is with respect to zeros and denominator is with respect to poles. Now we will try to realize direct form 1 structure. Realization of direct form 1. Now I will divide h of z into two sub blocks that is h1 of z and h2 of z so here h1 of z is with respect to zeros and h2 of z is with respect to poles zeros means numerator of h of z poles means one upon denominator that is denominator represent poles suppose this is transfer function h1 of z and this is transfer function h2 of z let x of z be the input let w of z is intermediate output let y of z is output so now i will consider the first sub block that is h1 of z as we know h1 of z is with respect to zeros now let me consider the first sub block that is h1 of z that is therefore h1 of z is equal to it is with respect to numerator of h of z that is 1 minus 2 z inverse 
माइनस जेड पावर माइनस टू देन प्लस टू जेड पावर माइनस थ्री सो वी नो दैट एच वन ऑफ जेड इज नथिंग बट आउटपुट बाय इनपुट हियर आउटपुट इज डब्ल्यू ऑफ जेड एंड इनपुट इज एक्स ऑफ जेड सो देर फोर नाउ आई कैन राइट डब्ल्यू ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू आई विल टेक दिस एक्स ऑफ जेड ऑन राइट हैंड साइड एंड मल्टीप्लाई विथ ईच टर्म आई विल गेट इट एज एक्स ऑफ जेड माइनस टू जेड इनवर्स एक्स ऑफ जेड माइनस जेड पावर माइनस टू एक्स ऑफ जेड प्लस टू जेड पावर माइनस थ्री एक्स ऑफ जेड so now taking inverse z transform inverse z transform i will get w of n is equal to inverse z transform of w of z is w of n i z t of x of z is x of 1 n minus 2 is constant inverse z transform of z power any number x of z is x of n minus 1 that is minus 1 power will be written here minus x of n minus 2 plus 2 x of n minus 3 let me call it as equation number 1 so this i got considering h1 of z as a zeros now let me consider h2 of z h2 of z is with respect to poles so here we can see that h2 of z can also be represented as y of z divided by w of z h2 of z is equal to y of z divided by w of z which is equal to so poles are with respect to denominator we supposed to take it as 1 upon this denominator part that is 1 divided by we have 1 minus z minus z power minus 1 plus 9 by 16 z power minus 2 minus 1 by 16 z power minus 3 plus 1 by 32 z power minus 4 so now i will cross multiply i will multiply y of z with each of these term i can write y of z minus z inverse y of z plus 9 over 16 z power minus 2 y of z then we have minus 1 over 16 z power minus 3 y of z plus 1 over 32 z power minus 4 y of z is equal to w of z into 1 is w of z now taking inverse z transform that is y of n minus y of n minus 1 plus 9 by 16 y of n minus 2 minus 1 over 16 y of n minus 3 plus 1 over 32 y of n minus 4 is equal to w of n so this can be rewritten as like y of n is equal to that is w of n i will send this these all terms on right hand side it will be plus y of n minus 1 minus 9 by 16 y of n minus 2 plus 1 by 16 y of n minus 3 minus 1 by 32 y of n minus 4 we will call it as equation 2 
so now using equation 1 and 2 we'll realize direct form one structure so here equation 1 and 2 i have written once again for reference now let me realize direct form one structure direct form one structure So here consider the first equation here input is x of n and output is w of n. So consider one adder here the input this is input say x of n we know that the output of this is say w of n so it is equal to w of n is equal to x of n minus 2 x of n minus 1. So, x of n minus 1 is obtained by passing x of n through delay element. The delay element is represented by z inverse. So, output here is x of n minus 1. So, it is connected to one more or adder. Here, the multiplication factor that is nothing but coefficient of x of n minus 1 is minus 2. Similarly, here we have x of n minus 2. That is here x of n minus 1 is obtained pass this through another delay element z power minus 1 here the output is x of n minus 2 so connect it to here the multiplication factor or coefficient of x of n minus 1 is minus 1 then we have x of n minus 3 so pass anyhow here x of n minus 2 is available this is x of n minus 2 pass through another delay element the output of this is x of n minus 3 here its coefficient is 2 now its output is directly connected to here now concentrate on equation number 2 here we can see that y of n is equal to w of n y of n minus 1 let me take so let me take one adder here let this is y of n so here we can see that y of n is equal to w of n anyhow w of n is coming here y of n minus 1 so pass y of n through delay element of z minus 1 here y of n minus 1 is available so connect one adder here connect this one to here the coefficient of y of n minus 1 is 1 similarly here we have y of n minus 2 pass this through another delay element the output is y of n minus 2 here the coefficient of y of n minus 2 is minus 9 by 16 y of n minus 3 pass through another delay element z minus 1 so use one more adder here here the coefficient of y of n minus 3 is 1 by 16 so we have another term y of n minus 4 pass through another delay element z power minus 4 here the coefficient of y of n minus 4 is minus 1 by 32 it is connected to here this output is connected here its outputs are connected like this So here we can see that this is direct form one structure. Now we will realize direct form two structure. Direct form two structure can also be directly realized from direct form one structure. This is the shortest method I will explain here. Direct form two structure 
सो एज वी नो इन डायरेक्ट इन डायरेक्ट फॉर्म टू स्ट्रक्चर द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एच ऑफ जेड इज डिवाइडेड इन टू एच वन ऑफ जेड एंड एच टू ऑफ जेड सच दैट इट इज ऑलरेडी आई हैव कंसिडर्ड दिस इज से एक्स ऑफ जेड दिस इज से डब्ल्यू ऑफ जेड एंड दिस इज से वाई ऑफ जेड here in direct form two structure h1 of z is considered as poles and h2 of z is considered as zeros as we know in direct form one structure h1 of z was zeros h2 of z was poles so now just we have to interchange these two blocks similarly in direct form one structure if we just interchange this poles block and zeros blocks definitely will get direct form two structure so now let me draw the direct form two structure <coughs> here this block is supposed to be drawn first and this block supposed to be drawn next that is we are going to exchange these two blocks because here we have poles first and zeros so this is the structure which is same as this one but here this block is drawn first and this one is connected next so now here we can see that the in the Signal available at this point is x of n minus one. Here it is x of n minus two, and here it is x of n minus three. So here also we can see that x of n minus one. Here we have x of n minus two, and here we have x of n minus three. So now by just instead of using different delay elements, I will combine these signals with this signal. That is. the same thing this x of n minus 1 and this delay element i will take it as common so here i draw this this is minus 2 and here we have minus 1 this is minus 1 and here we have 2 this is 2 these all are adders now connect this to here this one to here and here we have a adder connect this one to here this is our y of n and this is x of n multiplication factor or coefficient is 1 this is direct form two structure for the given transfer function h of z thank you for watching